Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada and this single story home for sale behind me with a pool in a gated community. And this home is super clean. We're in Henderson, Nevada, 89052 in a gated community here in Seven Hills. And this home just hit the market two days ago. And get this, we have a pool, three bedroom, two bath, and it's under $520,000. That's right, $515,000 for this home today. Absolutely a remarkable deal. And this thing is super duper clean, no rear neighbors, just so much to see. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking to get into this area with a single story, with a pool, uh, this is the home for you for sure. So I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas, your local licensed realtor here in Southern Nevada, Las Vegas, Henderson and Summerlin. We're going to do a home tour of this property today right now for you. So follow me inside. Let's find out if this is the right one for you today. Let's go. All right, here we are. Beautiful, warm, sunny day here in Henderson, Nevada, 89052, gated community and we're in Seven Hills here. We're about 25 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, about 35 minutes from downtown Summerlin. And this is a special listing here today. Only been on the market two days. We have three bedrooms and two baths, 1,612 square feet for only $515,000. The home built in 2001, and you can see just super clean on the outside and it's even cleaner on the inside. We are in an HOA, so it's gonna be about $138 a month here. And that's gonna be two HOAs for you. One's gonna be the actual HOA here for you, and the other one is gonna be the master plan community of Seven Hills. So we are in Palermo West subdivision. Love the landscape out here. It's got great curb appeal, just super clean, easy to maintain two car garage. The paint seems to be somewhat recent. We have a tile roof, couple front facing windows from one of these bedrooms. Security door here, freshly painted, black mat hardware. Little covered entry here so your packages won't get wet if it does rain, which isn't very often here in Las Vegas, but occasionally it does rain. Let's go inside and take a look for you. Front door really nicely painted as well, a light sand color, more black matte hardware, and walking inside. All right, as we walk in, if it's your first time here, just take a moment, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. You don't want to miss these videos that I put out daily for you with home tours, especially one like this with a pool for $515,000. And if you like my channel, like my work, want to support me, all you got to do is just hit that thumbs up real quick at the bottom. Help support my channel more than you could ever imagine. So we do have these 14 by 14 square tile here. And again, the home's very clean and great condition. We have this sand color on the walls here with white trim. We're going to have gold hardware on the inside of the home. And you can see there's a lot of extra little things in the architecture. We have kind of that cutout up here, this archway over the door, little area for art there. Kitchen's gonna be off to the right as well as the primary bad bedroom way in the back there. We're gonna start off to the left. So we have a couple bedrooms here and a full bath. So it is a 3-2, 1,612 square feet. First off, just a little linen closet. This is right off the front door here. And you do have a little hallway going to these two bedrooms and this full bath. So this bathroom is gonna be shared for these two bedrooms here, but we'll start off in this front bedroom. We do have carpet in the bedrooms with that 14 inch tile I mentioned throughout all of the wet areas and the rest of the home. Now in here we have about nine foot ceilings you can see these windows we saw when we walked in the front. These are those front facing windows here with a nice little angle. The coaxial cable is going to be on the wall behind me. And you have your half hot there, which is the upside down plug that's controlled by the switch. So if you have a lamp, we do have ceiling fans with lights and remotes. And then just a pretty standard double slider closet here. This room is going to be 12 by 10 here. 
And the reason I mentioned the ceiling height in here is because we're going to see vaulted ceilings through most of the rest of the home. I believe this is the only bedroom without it, but I may be wrong. We're going to go inside here in just a moment. This is going to be that full bathroom. Nice window looking in from the side. We do have this single piece sink and countertop, which I love to see. These stay the cleanest. This home built in 2001. This is definitely original with that gold hardware, but again, it's super clean. And then you just don't have those lines in between, you know, the undermount or the overmount with the grout or the caulking and uh, just stay super clean, extra easy to clean as well. We do have the original wood cabinets underneath and you can see the gold trim on the light, the medicine cabinet, the towel rod, toilet here in the corner. This bathroom doesn't look like it was used all too much, that much. And then all one piece fiberglass with the faux tile. And again, these stay very clean because you don't have those seams. Easy to clean when you don't have the grout lines in the tile or the caulking around where the toilet meets. I'm sorry, that's a tub where the tub meets the fiberglass there. So it's all one piece. Again, just super duper clean here. Gold shower head, gold faucet there. So yeah, this is gonna be your shared full bathroom for these two bedrooms up front in this home. Listed for 515,000 with a pool in a gated community right here in Seven Hills. We are in the Coronado High School School District with Del Webb Middle School and Elise L. Wolf Elementary. And in fact, those are the three schools that my kids went to. Both of my kids graduated out of Coronado High School. So yeah, you can see the vaulted ceiling as we walk in here. We have that same ceiling fan. We're gonna see that in all three bedrooms. Does come with the remote here as well. Um, is a little dated, but digital readout and it works. I didn't bother turning on the lights in these bedrooms. We have a lot of natural light coming in from the windows and it'll just turn it a little bit yellow because of the bulbs, so. Didn't turn those on. We do have a big window out here to the left with the vertical blinds on it. We have our half hot over here, telephone line, and then our coaxial is gonna be on this wall on this side. So that's gonna be bedroom number two. This one being about 11 by 11, just a touch smaller than that other bedroom. But it is nice having that vaulted ceiling. You do have that little cutout up there as well. So options up there for what you want to do. So that's going to be bedroom two for you. So there is a rule. If you have an FHA loan, which a lot of people say is the first time home buyers loan, but basically federal housing administration. So, and it's a specific type of loan to help new buyers get into homes. And what that means is well, there's a few differences, and one of the differences is gonna be your mortgage insurance. If you have a conventional loan, your mortgage insurance is gonna be a little bit cheaper, and it only goes until you paid off 80% of the loan to value on the home. So it is a temporary mortgage insurance until you pay off to a certain point. On an FHA loan, like uh, some of those first time home buyers will get, that mortgage insurance carries out through the entire loan, until you refinance, there's no way to get rid of it unless you just get out of the loan. So that is one thing to note. The reason I'm bringing that up, so the person who bought this has flipped it. So they've just cleaned it up, added a few things here and there, and they're reselling the home. So this home is not available to be purchased by FHA until October 18th. So I would, I would wanna point that out in case you do have an FHA loan and you are shopping. Uh, you're going to have to wait about a month and a half before you can purchase this home. So we did look at the laundry room there. Just a nice pass-through laundry room. It is a little extra wide for a laundry room. And the washer and dryer are included as well as the refrigerator with this home. 
This garage is super clean as well. Looks like they've freshly uh, done a gray paint or treatment on the flooring here. The walls are very clean. I'm not sure if the home was freshly painted or touched up, but I've said it many times, it is super clean home. You can smell it, you can feel it as soon as you walk in. So two car garage, we do have the Chamberlain garage door opener here. This is gonna be your water shut off as well as your water pressure valve. So this valve here controls the water pressure for the entire home. Your inspector is gonna test the water pressure. If it needs to be adjusted, if it needs to be adjusted, you go ahead and have your plumber come out or if you're savvy with doing that, you can adjust this to increase or decrease the water pressure. If you ever have a flood in your home and you can't get the water to stop, this is gonna shut off all the water to the interior of the home. Parallel with the pipe, it's on perpendicular. Basically you turn it, pull it up. It's gonna turn off that water to the entire home. Do you have your water heater tucked back here in the corner? Love to see the water drain pan, nice piping, no loops. We do have the PVC pushing it out away from the drain pan, which is great. Water softener loop over here in the corner as well with its own shutoff. So you can add your soft water system, water conditioner, whatever you choose. And there are a lot of options. You can go saltless with salt, electric, non-electric, all kinds of options for that. This door should be self-closing. As you can see, it didn't self-close behind me. It's an easy adjustment, just an Allen wrench and tighten this up and that should close automatically for you. I don't really see those break much. It's usually just an adjustment. So you just tighten it up and that thing will self-close. All right, so kitchen and main living area to the right, you can see this big vaulted ceiling but we're gonna head over to this primary bedroom. And I believe I've done a model similar to this on my channel. It's a very familiar layout. In fact, I'm, I'm positive that I have. I'm not sure how long ago it was, but I've definitely viewed this model. I don't think it had a pool. So into this primary bedroom, very large primary bedroom, gonna be, it says 15 by 15, seems about right. Couple windows coming in, that same ceiling fan we've seen with the remote here on the wall, that sand color with the white, very clean carpet. We do have the vaulted ceiling with a little bit of extra space up there for decoration. You see this quite a bit in these older homes where they have just kind of an archway or a single piece separating the main area from the bathroom when there's no door, but it does give a nice separation. It keeps all of the light and the air and the open feeling, but just gives you that little arch of separation there, which is pretty cool. Half hot is gonna be over here on this wall. That's where your lamp would plug in. And then your coaxial will be off to, to my right here on this side. And over to this walk-in closet. Again, 1,612 square feet, $515,000, gated community in Seven Hills, near Las Vegas. We're in 89052 of Henderson. The home built in 2001, three bedroom, two bath. The lot size is gonna be 6,098 square feet. So and that's a good size closet for this size home. Plenty of racks for storage. We do have a access to the attic there and a singular light. And over to this primary bathroom. Again, a lot of this is original. They just came in and really got it cleaned up. It's, it's super duper clean in here. I know I've said that a few times. Everything looks a little cleaner on camera, but this one actually is very clean. Little ledge here with the soaker tub. Very low tub, so not much of a step up to get into it maybe a foot and a half or a little bit less. So very easy to climb over. It's not one of these very tall tubs. Window looking out, that's completely covered. We have the gold hardware there. And then we have a double sink here with that original color wood countertop, or I'm sorry, wood cabinet underneath. And then the sink countertop, again, all one piece, which keeps it very, very clean. Large mirror, 
then that gold trim all over the place that you see. Corner shower here. Again, the gold trim. Gold has made a comeback in the design world in homes. So you could definitely work with this. The gold trim is not an issue at all, especially being this clean and shiny. You could just replace out the shower head and maybe the shower handle to something more modern and you'd be in business here. The soap dish does maybe age it a little bit as well. <laughs> you don't see those very often. Um, but yeah, you could definitely work with this, some of this gold in this home. And of course it is turnkey. So you could do some work in this home. You could also move right in, put your stuff down and start living. So you do have options. And again, when we get out back, you're going to see that beautiful pool. Great setup in the backyard, no rear neighbors. So it's going to be your water closet back here in the corner with a door for privacy. We even have a gold toilet paper holder there. So Maybe a newer toilet than the one we saw in the front bathroom. And that's going to be your primary bathroom here and your primary bedroom. And thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me today. If it's your first time here and you like my channel and you like what you've seen so far, go ahead and do a couple things. Hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up for me. It really supports my channel. The subscribe will keep you alerted to any of these new videos that I put out daily. You don't want to miss great homes, great deals. I look for those for you. And yeah, you'll, you'll know right away when I put those out. So we're over to this large open kitchen. Plenty of space for bar stools here and you would need the taller stools because this is a very tall countertop. And you'll notice that it's a two tier system here. So we tear down for the main living area or main kitchen area. Uh, what we see a lot of people do when they remodel is they cut this off flat and just make it into one height countertop being the lower one. We have a double basin white sink here with a brand new faucet in matte black. Those original color cabinets seem to be in good condition. There's a very um, inexpensive option for updating your cabinets where basically they just, you order brand new cabinet doors, they add new hinges, and then they put veneers essentially on the whole cabinet itself and makes it look basically brand new. Then all you have to do is touch up the inside edges because typically these cabinets are pretty good inside. Yeah, so we don't see much inside there, but you just have to paint those lips the same color or some sort of finish on those so you don't see the original. But then it basically looks like a brand new cabinet. If you don't want to rip all these out and you did want to update them, that's a great option. So you have plenty of plugs on the top of the countertop. We do have white appliances, GE profile. So we have the dishwasher here, the single oven, four burner gas range, space saver, microwave over top. And then we have more cabinets on this side and more countertop space. So I think there's plenty of countertop space in this home. Let's see if we have a vent up here. We do not. I'd like to check that out for you. And then the white Frigidaire refrigerator that comes with the property as well. And it looks to be just as clean as everything else, ready to go, nice and cold for you. And then we have a pantry also. And for this size home, I think this is a good size pantry. Plenty of shelves in there. Not too deep. Sometimes if these are too deep, you can kind of lose stuff in the back, but a good depth on these as well. And then we also have a kitchen nook back here. So plenty of room for a nice round dining table, four chairs, maybe a smaller square rectangle, little kind of bench seat on the side if you want to utilize it for that. And then they've done this green paint. It's a very dark green, like a British racing green. Easy update for this home, change out this light, although it does match the aesthetic of the rest of the home that we've seen. Big window letting in light on the left here. 
And we're going to see that green also on the front of the island here, which we'll take a look at. You can see a little bit of peeking out right there. So yeah, very big open kitchen here, as you can see, standing from this side. Those vaulted ceilings are beautiful. A couple cutouts in the wall there, some architecture. Upside down plug there, that's going to be your half hot for your lamp, controlled by the switch. And then yeah, that green right here and on the wall. Does look nice with that lighter wood there, I will admit. So that's your kitchen here. And then as we swing around, we're gonna see a definitely a 2001 style setup here. Plenty of room for your large tube TV, your gas fireplace, some tile around the fireplace. This is the color the grout used to be on the tile right there. You can see that. But after 23 years, you do get a little bit of a darker color grout. They can come in, they can clean it up and make it look pretty close to that. Which if you see the difference, you can see the individual tile here. Over here, it kind of looks like more like one piece. And that's the advantage of getting that tile cleaned. You do that before you even move in. Uh, maybe 700 bucks for this home to get all the tile really cleaned out, which is great. And then, yeah, for this, what if I want a large screen TV? Well, you basically just build a brace there, put your TV mount on the front of that, and then have your TV out in front. Now, maybe a little asymmetrical because of the mantle here, but you can cover most of this space with a large TV. So essentially your TV would kind of go from here all the way to like this area. And then you'd have just a little space in the bottom there, but that's kind of the ideal setup. Uh, or if you have the smart TV, of course, you can put it on the wall behind. On this side, uh, you don't need the coaxial hookup, which we're seeing people use less and less for that coaxial. Nice arch with the plantation shutters up there, blinds on the doors and windows. And yeah, a lot of, a lot of natural light comes in here. $515,000, 1,612 square feet, single story. And single story homes traditionally cost more per square foot than a two story home. For one, it's a bigger footprint. Number two, there's more roofing. Number three, on a, on a two story home, they can stack piping. So essentially a downstairs bathroom will be in the same place as your upstairs bathroom. So they use the same type of plumbing and pipes. So, a lot of reasons why a two-story is a little bit less expensive than a single story. And then of course the land. So as we come outside, you can see this beautiful semi-private backyard, no rear neighbors, and this beautiful pool. Now this pool right here is going to run you about eighty dollars to $100,000 to get this installed today right here. So. Essentially, this home at 515, it's a great bargain, a great deal. Beautiful skies all the way up. I wonder if there's a trail there or just nature. We're gonna have to make our way up there in just a second. So stay with me if you wanna see me fall. Um, give, me a, give me a thumbs up at the bottom there, please, real quick as well. Helps support my channel, supports me and my video endeavors here on YouTube. I thank you for that. You can see me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook as well. Just look me up, you can find me. Uh, pool equipment over here. Nice little path to that self-closing gate that must open outwards with the mesh. And then, yeah, we'll get a look from this side and then we're gonna climb up and see what's over that wall. You can see the houses are up on the ridge line there. So they can't really see in, I mean, I guess they, up there with binoculars they might be able to see but you're pretty private back here that's why i said semi-private well, let's see if we can get up these rocks and see what's just over this fence here now these rocks are a little bit loose but it seems to be going pretty well so far so yeah no path up here i was afraid maybe there'd be a walking path or something right here but yeah just nothing so nothing's ever going to be here you don't have to worry about that and look at this view from up here. Gorgeous. Manager Guy with Simply Vegas, thank you so much for being here today. 
hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the little bell for notifications, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.